Ano yung vlog? Ano yung vlog din pala ayun po Thank you How's it going everyone? Bian13 here. I'm coming at you with another PS5 game to unbox, and that is Stellar Blade. Now, I pre-ordered this game back in March or so, and by playing the demo of it, I was pretty much impressed with the game. I only just saw the trailer of it back in January, because I don't think I saw the other trailers back when it's called Project Eve, and after that, I heard some speculation online about the developers behind the game being shipped up. I won't tell you too much about them other than they were a Korean game company who previously made mobile games, and this being their first console game is by all means impressing. There were a lot of controversies with companies like IGN, which I heard someone from IGN friends stated that the protagonist who goes by Eve literally looked like she was made by someone who hasn't seen a real life woman. And seeing a bit of those controversies made me wonder why would they say that to the developers behind this game, specifically the CEO of Shift Up himself. I mean, come on, France has Ladybug, which don't tell me if she's attractive yet controversial as Eve, but I feel like they say that because she's not really their type, I don't know. But by playing the demo and seeing the trailer back in January, she grew on me from time to time, mostly because I have a soft spot for pre-girls growing up. But I wouldn't talk about it in another video if this hits 20 likes. And by the way, by seeing the trailers back when it's called Project Eve, she's not really as stunning compared to now. But yeah, she really did grow on me from time to time. I wish I could tell you more stuff that interests me about Stellar Blade behind the scenes, like how they made this dome sing with a lot of cameras that their mall stands in to, to scan her to their computers and all, but let's just now open up the game. Just removing all of this tape, which by the way, if you really saw the introduction of this video, there was this box that's behind this game. I don't know what's in it, maybe the pre-order bonus that I don't think it was really mentioned in the Day of Blitz Facebook page when they posted that, hey, this game's available and all. Uh, let's just continue uh, unwrapping the game first. Yeah, and one more thing, I did play the demo, as I mentioned, and what I heard is that when you play the demo, your save progress actually carries over to the main game, which I think that's something I've seen with most Nintendo games like Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes, but I don't think this ever happened to PlayStation games, specifically this one right here, which I would admit it is a first. That was a little rough to capture, but here's the game itself. Stellar Blade, made by Shift Up and Sony Interactive Entertainment. Uh, you can see the box right here. It says, Intentional Premium Inside. This is the Asia copy. Backs like this, I'll further open this in a bit. But first, let's take a look what's in here. I have to be really careful because 
there are some fragile stickers inside. This is literally just a white box. So, so in the game and this white box, uh, I'll, I don't know which one I'll open first. I think let's start with whatever is in this white box. So, opening it up. And, um, Is this really just a mug? They literally made a 100% guaranteed mug. I thought this would literally be a Stellar Blade mug, but no. In fact, when I heard that the game will have pre-order bonus, I thought it would be a flashlight, but no, I think the cones for some content in the game may only be the pre-order bonus that the game will have but uh, now let's open this up that was really random that they just gave me a mug so opening this up Taking one more look at the game. This is a PS5 exclusive. The sign just says Stellar Blade in black art. Could be a continuation of the front art. The back like this. One player, it's a single player game and requires sorry five Games. And yeah, let's open it up. I'll just do it right here in case the desk is loose inside. Which by all means it is. And I'm glad I actually opened it like that so I can... i glad I opened it like this is what I mean to say. So I really uh, make sure that this is safe. And I also see the code the pre-order bonus code for uh, Eve's new outfit, the Planet Dive outfit, some glasses, and um, ear armor, I think, which later looked like one of those Bluetooth headsets. Yeah. Um, continuing on in here, I did saw an unboxing of it by uh, the man behind Shift Up himself being Kim Hyung Day, if I'm not mistaken. And he didn't unbox the game. And other than having this right here, the this is literally uh, the same art as the box. But as he also shown in here, this is the alternative uh, artwork for the game, and this looks pretty neat, I would say, when I first saw it. Let me try to move this without ripping it, but here's the alternative artwork. It all means impressive. I kind of wish these PS5 games came in like clear, fully clear cases instead of clear blue like the Switch art hand because I feel like you can see the uh, image a lot more. And yep, this is the unboxing for Stellar Blade. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And before I end here, I thought, I thought, why not just pop the game on my PS5 and maybe show you a bit of gameplay of it. So stay tuned. All right. So I popped the game on my PS5. Uh, I already downloaded the uh, pre-order bonus uh, guns and uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for this to uh, install, then I'll launch the game. All right, uh, the game's already now done downloading. I think I can just open this up. By the way, the icon that you just saw is no different from the demo. It's just the same, I would say. Uh, let's see now. Uh, I'll just leave the language and voice in English because I'm probably more interested in the uh, the English voice sack. There's more than uh, Korean, not to discriminate. Do I want to transfer save data from the demo? I do. I would actually change some things in uh, the game, but I think that something I'll do whenever I play this game offline or when I'm not recording is what I mean to say. So, continuing on with the game. I won't really play like, I won't really play the game all the way through. But, uh, yeah, I am literally right where I began in this, uh, camp right here. I think you're supposed to go up here and then fight one of the Alpha Natibas that I previously fight. I don't know if it wants me to fight it again or guess I am. I'm mounting. <gasps> I'm really. I know the controls from the demo. I don't know if I can r really apply those here. <sighs> this is bad. I need to recover immediately. know how to dodge so that's good all right uh, I had to stop the gameplay right there and uh, the reason why I'm doing this kind of outro right now is because reviewing the footage on the outro of the original recording on OBS it got a little echoey when I uh, switched scenes I don't know why I'm telling you that but uh, yeah, that's basically all I have for Stellar Blade. I hope you guys like and subscribe. And I don't know if I want to do more Stellar Blade content in the future. Comment below if you want me to. But I hope you guys like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on my next video.